So do you need a new account to sell on Facebook? Stick around, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Hey everybody, Brian McCumber here with Tech Money Talks. I'm the host of the number one drop shipping podcast on the planet. And I'm here today to talk about if you need a new account on Facebook, how to actually get that set up because I see far too many people get caught up in this and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in three easy steps. Now I wanna start with the disclaimer that this is for educational purposes only and use it at your own discretion. Now before we dive into the video, if you could do me a favor, please click the like button, subscribe and hit notifications. It's really gonna help out the show and it tells me to do more valuable videos like this. Now like I said, you can do this in three easy steps. I call it going virtual, so step number one is is to create a virtual network. Step number two is to create a virtual PC. Step number three is that you're gonna create your virtual account. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step exactly how to do it. I'm gonna do it on my computer. So stick around and let's go through the process together. And this is the three steps that I've been talking about here. So this is all about going virtual, okay? So step number one is to create a virtual private network. They call it a VPN for short. And we're gonna dive all into it here, but I just wanna explain the three steps. Then step number two is to create a virtual PC. So step number two is a virtual PC. And then step number three is creating a virtual account. So this is a big picture layout and we're gonna go through it step by step in detail here. So let me pull up my screen. First, let me explain how does a VPN work? What does that mean? It's a virtual private network it basically means your connection to the internet. And as you're connecting to the internet, most people don't really realize you're being spied upon. You're being spied upon by big corporations, big tech, hackers, governments, China, Russia, all these things that are spying on your data, your habits, your activity. They know your computer, they know your address, they know your IP address and location, all that stuff as you're just openly connected to the internet going through Facebook, going to social media. With the VPN, it protects you from that. So that's the whole point of using a VPN. So now a VPN service that I'd recommend, and I'm not an affiliate or whatever, I'm just kind of recommend. Actually, there's a bunch that's out there, but the whole point is, is that to find something that'll give you protection over the internet. And we're actually gonna show how this actually works. Starting out, you and your PC, you're public. You got a public PC. You got a public address and a public location. And now step number one is that you're gonna apply that VPN and you can use TorGuard and that'll give you a private address and private location. So now your location can be wherever you specify you want it to be. You could be in any country around the world and you can specify the address that you're operating from there. The second step is to create a virtual PC. So now that you have a virtual network, create a virtual PC. Virtual PC, you can actually make an easy virtual desktop, meaning that an actual virtual computer. And you can create that on the internet, on the cloud. And you can do that through Amazon Workspaces. So Amazon Workspaces just made it totally easy for people to use. Now, if we look here, a way to get started with Amazon Workspaces is to do three steps here, which is one, you sign up for an AWS account, two, you launch their quick uh, setup, and then three is that you customize your workspace, which is basically, you know, choose what computer you wanna work with here. Now, also, let me show the pricing here. This is what's actually pretty cool. Look at that, 22 cents an hour. So you can have a computer, a virtual computer, and for the time that you use it, means the time that you actively use the virtual PC is 22 cents per hour. So like I said, that's step two of the process, which is creating a virtual PC. One, it's dirt cheap because you pay by the hour. And two, it's a quick setup. Like you'll be able to set it up within like about 20, 30 minutes. You'll see that it's actually pretty quick and easy, which is awesome. And then here's the other tip I almost forgot to mention. The other tip is that use the virtual network, the same virtual private network on your virtual PC. If you're, you're trying to create a new account or for some reason your account was shut down and you try to create a new one from your public PC and your public location, but Facebook knows who you are, where you connected from, and you try to, you know, you have an account that say you got shut down for whatever reason, and now you're trying to create a, create a new account, Facebook can see, hey, 
You're trying to create a new account from the same IP, from the same computer, from the same address. No, I'm not gonna activate your new account from the same computer. Facebook picks up on that and they know how to do that. So they tell you no. So you probably already experienced this or you heard people experience this that, man, they got shut down or whatever, for whatever reason, they're trying to create a new account, but they're using the same public PC, the same public address and location and Facebook knows who you are and they say no time after time after time. Once you privatize, now Facebook will treat your PC connection as if you are a new person to create a new account. Does that make sense to you? Step three is that you're going to create a new, I call it a virtual account, because what you can do here is that you go to the next step here. Go to Fiverr. So it's uh, Fiverr.com and you basically do a search. You can see the search in here. I'd said Facebook account, just two words, Facebook account. And now you see things like this, which is like, I'll create a Facebook business ad account. I'll create a Facebook verified business ads account. You know, all these people offering these services for you. So you can do that. Here's an example of the services. So I clicked into one of them and I say, I'll create an account. You have 233 five-star reviews for creating an account. They already have three in the works right now. And so people love it. This person's in Italy and he's able to have an account. And here they even explain, it's a common scenario, right? The main problem for a digital marketer, if you've been disabled or banned Facebook ads account, here's the fix. He'll create a Facebook account, solve the problem, and he says, here's information that I need from you. And here's what he'll give you, the new account and so on. And that word leads to step three. So that's how you create that virtual account. But you wanna create that account and then access, only access account through this setup, through the virtual PC, through that virtual network. Now, let me show an example of how this works. So I'm gonna click on workspaces here. This is the actual, you can see, I'm gonna drag this around on my screen. This is the actual workspace uh, that I'm talking about, Amazon workspace, the actual computer. So if I click this, it's a Windows 10 computer on this system here. And here's what I'm going to do first before I do anything. There's a website on the tour guard, actually. It says, what's my IP address? So I already did a refresh here and it, gets, it says, um, and actually this virtual machine uh, computer is based in Ireland. So it said, I'm in Ireland. It's unprotected. See how it's public facing? It's unprotected. It's in Ireland. It knows that it's coming from Amazon because I created the virtual machine from Amazon. It's a Windows 10 computer. I'm using a Firefox browser. My screen resolution is this. You can see all the information that, you know, and this is just a summary of information that, that they're showing here. But like I said, when you're, when you're connecting to the internet for all these services, public. They know your computer, they know your address, they know a lot of things about you that you don't realize. Now, say if you're trying to say, I mean, the question comes up a lot, if you're in different countries, you know, say, and you're trying to do business in the United States. So the easier step as well is that you can select a server that's based in the country you want to be in. So you can choose, you know, Greece, Hungary, India, Mexico, uh, all these different countries. But here, let's choose uh, Chicago, United States, you know, so that's where, where I am. And we'll just say here, but this virtual PC is actually running from Ireland. So now I click connect and let's let us go through its thing. Sometimes it takes a little while to connect and let's see how it goes. Boom, connected. So now I got a connection. It's a connection in the United States with a new IP address. And if we go here and I'm gonna click refresh on what's my IP, what's my information here. Boom, here we go. Look at the Chicago map. This now says this computer, this connection, this everything is using a protected IP address. It's based uh, in the United States, in Chicago. It knows right there. You can see the map, longitude, latitude. It has a, its own I, uh, ISP provider that's in that area, America, Chicago, from a Windows 10 computer, and then the browser and so on, right? So this created this setup and you can see how easy it is for now you to operate. So now imagine that, okay, you're on the browser, you set up this new account, right? 
you set up this new account and now you're operating from the virtual computer with the VPN connection. That's how it works, folks. That's what the pros are, you know, publicly talking about. One, because it's too complicated to explain. And then two, because they're just keeping it secret for themselves. So I just kind of laid down the golden nuggets here, simplified it so that you can follow in three easy steps. And that gives you the chance to now create a new virtual account and you can operate business with that virtual account and then follow the guidelines and policies and things like that because i mean it, it does nobody any good you know to to keep getting your account canceled and things like that so like i said this is all for you know technical education purposes but really awesome stuff i hope this really i'm excited about it i hope this really helped you out Right. Wasn't that amazing? I tell you, really awesome stuff. I know it can get technical, but hopefully I simplified everything for exactly what you need. So if you need to create a new Facebook account, but I know if you're trying to create a new account and you're using the same computer and you're using the same internet, the same connection, Facebook knows who you are. So they're going to cancel every new account that you try to create for the purposes of selling online. So what you need to do is follow those three steps that I laid out for you and it's easy peasy. Like I said, I call it going virtual in three easy steps. You set up the virtual network, you set up the virtual PC, and then you set up the virtual account. And it's step one, two, three, and that's how you do it. Now, another great thing that I put together for you because I know the video, I can't cover all the details. So I put the details in the blueprint. It's a cheat sheet, step-by-step -step exactly how to do it with links to follow and things like that. So what you can do is go to virtual.dropposting.com virtual.dropposting.com. It's a free blueprint and cheat sheet, easy to follow to do it yourself. So it's my way of giving a gift to you so you can get started and get your Facebook account going and you can start selling online. All right, so I hope this video was valuable. If it was, be sure to throw a like, subscribe and hit notifications. It really helps me and tells me to do more videos like this for you and it'll really help out the show. Thanks for making it around to the very end and I'll talk to you in the next video. side here is this a black hat technique or a gray hat technique so this is a black hat or this is a gray hat that's what I'm trying to figure I think it's more of a gray hat technique and it's a technical setup that's been used for decades